it looks like not even the shiny world of show business has managed to escape the grasp of the Great Depression. The subway, at this hour of night, because of the faces they could see in it, it looks more like a state prison. I can't go there. The gate is locked. I can't go there. The gate is locked. Hmm. That ladder could be useful. I'm afraid it would be too easy this way. I don't see how I could use... doors that characterize Harlem. Last Heaven Hotel. A curious name for a hotel in Harlem. From the information that I got, this is where Harvey Weber's stepdaughter is. Sitting down and reading the newspaper. I should have been a reception clerk. I would have certainly been healthier. The door to the porter's lodge. There are photographs of black musicians hanging everywhere, probably jazz players. A wastebasket full of every kind of junk that can be produced in a hotel. There are some candies in this bowl. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? That's the way to the rooms, but I don't think you're one of my guests. I'm looking for a woman. Well, who is it nowadays? Hey, you. That... I'm looking for a woman. Well, who is it nowadays? There are photographs of black... No, it doesn't make it... No, I don't need any more money. My investigator's license. 20 bucks, a damn questionnaire, and anyone who wants to can stick their nose in your business. I don't see how I could use them together. Hi, do you own this place? Well, depends on who wants to know. private detective. A private detective? I guess someone has gotten himself in trouble. More or less. It's about a girl. A girl, you say? There are a lot of them here. And for a few bucks, they can give you a night that will stay in your memories for a long, long time. She's not a prostitute. Susan Weber. White, medium frame, blonde hair, 20 years, and pretty enough to cause her some troubles. Have you seen her? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not used to giving out information about my guests to the first person who happens by. People come here to have a place where no one can find them, and not just for a place where to sleep. And I try to help them with that as much as I can. Come on, don't make a fuss. Tell me where I can find Ms. Weber. Sorry, but you won't get anywhere by being pushy. Tell me where I can find the girl. I've already told you that you won't get anywhere in this way. You must have a good imagination to call this hotel Last Heaven. No fantasies or sentimentalities. They're not for me. At least not anymore. This hotel belonged to my brother, Louis Fitzgerald Heaven. There were nine of us, and he was the youngest. That's why people called him the Last Heaven. When he bought the hotel, he didn't have any doubts about what to call it. At that time, this place was falling apart, but Louis was sure he could turn it into a good hotel, and he made it. 
How come it's you running it now? My brother can't take care of it anymore. In October 1926, some redneck who missed the good old days of slavery refused to pay his three-day rent for the room. He said that he would have never given money to a Negro. And when my brother threatened to call the police, the guy pulled out a gun and pulled the trigger. Shot him in the guts. My brother died almost immediately. Even though he was small, he never let anyone to push him around. And what we all thought of as a quality eventually turned out to be what killed him. And the hotel stayed closed for years, and it was I who reopened it five years later, but without my brother, it wasn't the same hotel anymore. Did the police get the killer? Now, you already know the answer. One day, great men will be able to change how things are, and there won't be any more hatred between blacks and whites. Nowadays, they name streets in New York after these great men. And when that happens, it means they didn't meet with a happy ending. Forget about it. Now, whatever you want. This job probably doesn't pay too much. I'm sure that with a little encouragement, he would tell me more. Ten bucks should be more than enough for some information. These might make you change your mind. Money to buy information? That must be one important girl you're looking for. Enough for someone to hire me. You know, lately, a lot of people like you have come by. They ask questions, look for people. Once, this hotel was considered one of the best in Harlem. Now it's become a shelter for criminals, easy women, and people who are running away from something. All it took was a couple of years of recession to turn New York into a cesspool. I wonder where this city's going to end up. Where it always has. Nowhere. Ah, uh, you're always headed somewhere. Good or bad, you always have a direction. The day that New York will be rotten through and through, that will be the day that the good God himself will come down to crush it. Don't count on that. I know people in this city who would manage to bribe your good God with a couple of well-aimed compliments. Son, I guess you're not a believer. I believe in whiskey, and in all those things that I can explain in a day. Well, without faith, it's impossible to survive in this city. Everyone needs something to believe in. Probably I just don't have anything worth believing in yet. Anyway, let's end this catechism lesson, and tell me where I can find the girl. Hmm, you said her name is Susan Weber? Susan Weber, with two Bs. Hmm, Susan Weber. Oh, you gave me money in exchange for information, but... Who says that I have any? Dannazione, you must have a list with the names of your guests. As I told you earlier, this hotel is a place where half of the tenants are poor devils trying to get away from something. They usually don't give their real names. A hundred John Smiths, a dozen George Washingtons, even a couple of Charlie Chaplins pass through this hotel. So there is no room under the name Susan Weber? That's right, son. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. If you want, you can take your money back. Keep it. I'm sure it'll come in handy. It's pointless. 